Hi there! My name is Yaroslav Kravtsov and here is my workshop when, where I work with Natalia Alfutova on our art projects. And right now I want to share with you my special secret how to make your artworks much much more immersive. For this one we will use virtual reality. And for virtual reality we need virtual reality helmet. This one. For example, this is Oculus Quest. Uh, for my opinion, it's the best VR helmet ever because it can work standalone, so you can use it on a street, uh, come to your friends, uh, come to exhibition, and very easy to stop on uh, on any new environment. Or you can connect it to PC and uh, get the powerful PC VR. Uh, for connection, we can use Wi-Fi or special wire. It's very easy, type uh, USB type A, as I assume, or B, uh, from one side and uh, USB type C on the other side. So that's all what we need. Uh, no special expenses, no costs. We will use uh, Game Engine Unity. It's totally free for us. So let's begin. Sorry for my accent. I'm trying to my best. Step 1. Go to the unity.com, the place where Unity belongs, and uh, press get started here. There's a lot of information, uh, you can read it later, but right now press get started. Uh, there are a lot of information also, there are a lot of numbers like pay this one or pay that one. Um, we don't want to pay, okay? So we switch to individual and we see the personal free and revenue less blah 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 um, it's okay for us so we're pressing get started again um, there are also a lot of information um, but let's choose return accusers because we don't want to have this all learning pass we if you want it you can get it later but right now your learning pass is me. So listen to me and everything will be good. So press go here. Okay, accept these terms and press download Unity Hub. This is a small application that will help you to install uh, Unity and work with Unity, okay? I hope you clever enough to install and uh, use the applications, okay? So step two, we are installed Unity Hub. And here it is. Uh, I'm already using Unity and using Unity Hub, so I have a couple of projects here. Uh, you probably have nothing here, it's okay. Uh, and also, if you want to work with Unity, you need to have Unity. Unity Hub is not the Unity, it's a hub for Unity. So go to install and uh, press add to add a new version of Unity. You can choose which one of you of the versions you want to use. For example, this one looks good because it has LTS. LTS has a long time support. So you can be totally sure that this version will be extremely stable, extremely safe, and you can use it for a long time. Okay, pressing next. Um, the couple of questions about the, how do you want, you want to use this? Uh, version for example do you want to make android builds ios builds for mac builds for linux for webgl blah 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 um right now we don't need anything there but for example okay i'm working with windows so i need to windows build support um documentation we totally don't need it because everything what we need is online um also i don't need these languages so okay press done and uh, installation begins. Yeah, you can see that I have a lot of Unity version on my laptop. Um, you can also do this one if you want to have as much Unity as you want. But it's not healthy, okay? Use only that version that you really need, okay? 
okay so we installed this version and take care about the number of the version because some features can change from one version to other and right now we are speaking about this uh, 2019 version 4.1 f1 lts light jump support and uh, before we begin we need to arrange some license questions so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, press on this uh, button to get to the settings. Or oh, before this, be sure that you are signed it in uh, into your Unity account if you haven't one. Uh, so you need to create it. And after that, when you sign it, you can choose preferences, license management, and um, activate new license. Uh, you, as I said, we will use uh, Unity personal version, it's free to use, so you just need to answer a couple of questions and it's, it's done. After that, we are going to the uh, our projects and press new button to create the new project. Or press this um, triangle to choose which version you want to use. If you want to use the latest version that we have. Okay, pressing it. Uh, we have this window that asking what type of project we want to be, have. I just want 3D version, uh, other version I don't need it. Um, we have very simple projects, so 3D is enough for us. And have uh, some name like ver example, for example. I don't know how to write this, spell it right, okay. I did it and create, press create after that you can take the big cup of tea and start drinking while you're waiting you will wait long time okay and this is our regular unity window what we can see there uh, we can see our main scene. It's uh, what we have on our location right now. We have only two objects the Sun and the camera uh, Also, you can see these objects in a table on the left uh, And on the right you can see the settings of these objects So we need to create some 3d environment to put it into the virtual reality uh, for example, we can start with uh, some simple objects, like we go into the game object tab, 3D object, uh, plane, and we have uh, some sort of plane, and after that we can go to 3D object, cube, and not, it's not a cube, it's a sphere, but 3D objects, cube, yes, it like, looks like the cube, okay, and we can move it, so, oh. On our scene we can rotate it we can scale all these uh, tools uh, lies here and um, we can uh, move our camera by pressing right button of the mouse and uh, using VSD uh, to like uh, the, some shooter games for example to manipulate the camera okay and I see that it's like a dark uh, scene is kind of weird is because the uh, default settings of the lighting is not the best in uh, unity so we need to go to the window uh, rendering lighting settings to get to the top of the lighting settings right now it's here and what we need to set up we don't need the back illumination on this uh, stage because it's um, just early stage of our prototype uh, and also we need to start set auto generate to generate the lightning okay everything is white as it's supposed to be okay so if you want to make it different colors uh, just press red button um, below there uh, select create and select material and name it material something like red and in inspector tab uh, select uh, color here and choose it red okay you made a special material with red color you can see, you see it's on the thumbnail and right now we just need to put this on any other object so it's a first step i will repeat i will repeat 
so it's a simple and first way to make your virtual uh, reality to make some environment for it for example but it's extremely simple it's not satisfy what I want to make it so I want to use some more complex objects and for this one I'm going to the asset store it's a, some sort of the place when you can uh, buy some models some examples some art some textures or for example maybe you don't need to buy for example I'm choosing 3d category because I'm want to make CD project for virtuality and I select the free assets I don't want to pay it okay you know it uh, so the bunch of assets that we can use and for this lesson I will try to use this dream forest tree let's see maybe it will work and satisfy what we need okay we press quick look looks pretty dark but I think it's good idea to get yourself into the forest by virtual reality so we press download to download this pack right and after downloading complete press import it takes a little time um, you see this window appear it's asking me about what exactly I want to import Maybe I don't want to import all projects, so I just want to take something. But I don't sure what happens here and what all these files do. So I say import everything. Let's go. Okay, that ask say me that some um, scripts are outdated because it's made for previous version of Unity. So we can say it's okay, like to make the automatically upgrade. I see the some uh, words about the port post processing. It maybe not works in VR, so we will cut it if it will not satisfy us. Okay, and okay, it's asking us about some improvements, but we will ignore it. We will set everything by our own. Okay, we installed. So switch back to scene and right here uh, in the below i see the new folder reforce tree and i go to demo send to look at it mm -hmm. it looks very dark but very mm, nice i think um okay let's try to improve the scene before we begin to switch to the virtual reality so what we have on the lightning tab we have the same thing that auto generate was uh, disabled so we need to take a little time to let the unit calculate the right version of the lightning it's still very dark um, we also can uh, press play to look how it looks in a game mode okay it's some sort of settings that we need to switch it's about all post processing stuff so we will just cut this shit out uh, for this one we need what we don't need particles we need no particles uh, probably we will delete this camera at all we don't need uh, user interface canvas and uh, what you have on the camera uh, post processing behavior no, don't need thank you oh it looks much better and uh, also what we have on the camera flare, flare, flare layer we also don't need it uh, we come at probably to fly around okay um, and and what we also need we will um, go to the project settings to the player and do what this uh, program asks us to switch color space from gamma to linear it's a kind of um, long process uh, quick example why we need to do this unity 
gamma linear. Ask, ask Google about this, what this is, and why we just need. Uh, I think this picture will answer to your questions that linear space looks much more natural than gamma space. So we are switching to the linear space. And here, right now, we switch it. And we see this one. Oh, some lightning shafts. Mm, looks okay, looks good. So, right now, everything is ready to set the virtual reality here. Okay, uh, maybe we will delete this fake water because it looks strange and fake shafts we don't have something fake and everything other is good enough so moving to the virtual reality okay okay it's time to return to the virtual reality helmet at first i need to set up uh, the uh, environment uh, to make sure the helmet works good okay uh, uh. So be sure that uh, your helmet is set up properly and has the latest version of firmware. After that you can connect it to the PC by using Oculus Link. This is a special way how to connect Oculus Quest to the, your PC by cable. It can be used any type of cable that has USB Type-C on the one end and USB Type-A I assume from the other end. Uh, only one matter important it should have a standard c.1 or better okay and after that you can able to play any oculus rift games on your oculus quest and also use oculus quest as development tool for making the vr games in unity okay uh, so here's the page about this how it works uh, that you need the cable blah 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 and also you need to download uh, the Oculus Rift uh, setup here to be sure that uh, your computer can understand what you're plugging in. So the same thing that before download, install, I'm sure you know how to do it. It will take a long time. Okay, so Oculus was installed and now we need to set up our helmet. So press next, wait for some time and looks good. Now we need to check our devices. Yes, we want to Oculus Quest uh, and time to plug in. So Put it here and be sure that uh, everything enabled in uh, settings uh, in your helmet to enable Oculus Link uh, feature because it might be a better feature or something like this. Okay, I plug it and and where it is? Not connected. Yeah, connected. Okay, so right now I can use this helmet as a VR helmet. Uh, what else I need? I need to set up my uh, Unity project to start uh, launching it as a VR application, not like the not like the regular VR application. So we switching back to the Unity. Uh, we don't need our regular camera, so delete it. Uh, now we going to the edit project settings uh, and uh, previously it was uh, in the bottom of the player settings XR settings and uh, right now it says that we need to use XR plugin system instead uh, and we need to go to the project settings XR plugin management it's XR means in mixed reality so we go in here and say install plugin. It's everything about the waiting. And it's 
I don't know, hell to the montage that we can cut all this waiting sequence. Okay, and now we saying that we are working with Oculus. You may use any other helmets, for example, HTC Vive is a very good helmet, especially or Valve Index perfect helmet. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, and we seen that we have uh, Oculus here. Um, I'm not sure what it works correctly, but I assume it need to be single pass. We'll try check it later. And uh, what else we need? Let's check game object settings. Here, XR. Convert main camera to XR ring. Oh, oh sure, I deleted main camera. <laughs> so I make the new camera. Make sure it has tag uh, main camera here. Okay, so this tag. And right now, se select this option like XR, convert. Okay, so it's um, set somewhere. Uh, I can uh, double click to see where it is or look at or look in the window and look at ah okay it's right here so let's check will it work or not uh, press play button mm, something not good press play button again okay and does it work with our helmet nope it doesn't because i didn't enabled oculus link on my helmet here it has options like do i want to enable it or not right now i am enabled after i enabled uh, oculus quest uh, link beta something feature on the helmet uh Oc helmet sent me that i need to uh, finish setup uh, of this helmet so it's here it asked me it's oculus quest application it asked me to connect my headset okay it's already done um check cable okay you can test it calculating calculating i am trying to keep my helmet in the area that i set up is safe for work what okay no, no, no matter um of course complete okay so it somehow don't doesn't want to work probably we need to install more plugins so we come to the window package manager there are a lot of plugins from the unity and also we can ask to uh show us some um assets packages in the preview stage where it is mm, not sure but okay uh, we have oculus plugin it's up to date uh, which also we have what if we have oculus desktop i'm not sure that we need it and more open more often its package is deprecated and will be removed so okay we will not use it uh, what else we have with uh, Mixed Reality, XR, Legacy Input System, Interaction System, Plugin Management, uh, it's installed, it's not installed, probably it may be useful, uh, but I didn't see that, that we need something else from uh, that library so we uh, came to asset store because every major companies every major uh, hardware provider has some uh, plugins here for example uh, i go here for oculus i mean oculus and search and here we have a personal we have a special oculus plugin in asset store free to use and i believe it will help us more often 
it's uh, very fresh it's updated in may okay so download it and install it as all other pl plugins We install everything from this plugin, everything. Okay, it's updated and it's asking us that detected, available, to repair. So, do we need? I assume yes, we need and we need to restart unity yay and upgrade okay and upgrade and restart and save yes let's save it now waiting for restart okay it's restarted and switch back to the our scene and so uh, right now check what do we have something new here no we don't have something new in a mixed reality settings but we have a special oculus uh, something uh, special type i'm not sure that we need it right now uh, so let's try to play the current version so i press play and Check my helmet, and still nothing happened. In the package manager, we will try to check the advanced options, and here show preview packages to let us see the packages in the preview status. Uh, maybe we will find something interesting for us. So uh, Oculus XR plugin is still up to date. Uh, but uh, we will also check other virtual reality and mixed reality plugins for example uh, interaction toolkit why not let's install it and plugin management is up to date mm, what we else can we need subsystems why not let's install it too Okay, we installed, I assume, everything that we may need. Uh, so right now we have more options in uh, mixed reality settings. For example, let's say we have room scale XR rig and we will delete previous rig. Why not? And the new rig, where it is, mm, I sure we need to move it a little bit in another place. For example, on something um, there, pretty cozy place. And uh, while this option is selected, we go to the game object uh, menu and say move to, to, to view to make it near the camera. Um, I think it should be something like there. Okay, I think it's uh, enough. Let's try to launch it and here we go I'm the in the virtual reality in really exactly this forest oh it looks gorgeous and I able to move look around perfect perfect okay okay so what can else we do for example you can see here that our rig for mixed reality has camera so it means helmet and left right controllers so we can add something to these objects for example for right controller i will add a light uh, point spotlight 
it's like the flashlight. Um, we'll set the range something about uh, to 20, intensity, I don't know, 2, and uh, hard shadows will be enough for, for me. Okay, and our sun, I want to turn off, I want to set the night time uh, and for this I need to rotate my sun vice versa so where it is um, or here this is my sun it's not matter when it's placed in uh, the scene it's matter in uh, about the angles okay I want to make it look from the below so my sun goes down and nights come mm, maybe i need to need switch to the lightning and uh, i will change this uh, sky box to the default procedural sky box where it is sky mm. so many names so many materials Hmm. Then all. Okay. Uh, then all such type of the materials somehow. Okay. What if I delete it at all? Okay. Enough. And uh, environment lighting is um, is a light that works where no lights. It's uh, very how to say very bright. So it's not like the daytime, so I change it to the color and make this color little bit darker. Okay, uh, what we have also very light is the fog. I think I will disable the fog for now. Mm. Okay, okay, let's um, let's check it. It's maybe not the best version, but uh, I still want to look at my forest with my flashlight. Okay, I'm in my forest. And yeah, yeah, it's my flashlight. So yes, I need to set up uh, properly the lightning. I see that some materials for the grass doesn't work uh, well in the dark, but it's can be solved okay but more often i have my 3d vault uh, and it's pretty immersive i can walk around um, only the cable keeps me here and also i can use my hands uh, to put some objects and these objects may be like the simple box or some hand or something more interesting like the flashlight or something that can may be used for some interaction so there it is that's what i want to show you how to make your own vr experience uh, and share it with your friends with your colleagues and maybe make some um, piece of art uh, the last step when you're ready and finished with uh, the unity you go to the file build settings add the open scene current scene and build it to make it a workable standalone version applications and you can send on some exhibition or some festival so on. so on so thank you for watching see you later bye bye and you're awesome